Saguaro cacti are feeling the heat. Last week we told you about experts say that they're having a tough time surviving this heat wave that just will not end. And they probably will not all survive. Team 12's William Pitts explains what you can do if your saguaro doesn't make it. We've been telling you for a while that the record heat is killing saguaro cactus. So what do you do when one falls over? Turns out you can make a lot of money. Dumb luck, I was reading an article the day before it fell about how saguaros were falling because of the heat and lack of monsoon we've had this summer. And I was reading it going, oh, that's crazy. Get off work, come home, and my cactus is laying down. Down for the count. Trevor Cagle's saguaro seemed fine. It was still pretty green, maybe a little stressed, but in this heat, who isn't? I have three of them. People dig them. I love them. Um, out of nowhere, that, that this thing fell. Look closer. The inside is already dried out. It weighs, well, Trevor doesn't know, but he doesn't want the hassle of finding out either. I don't want to deal with the, a month or two that it takes and then having to, the bugs, the, the smell, whatever. Parts sticking out like bones, which is exactly what makes it valuable. Decorations in restaurants and stores and that type of thing. Once in a while, you get somebody from out of state that's interested. Bernadine McCollum runs MM Mesquite in Wickenburg. She sells art pieces, plant stands, even furniture made out of saguaro skeletons. She collects them herself. They clear cut everything, shove it into washes, and there I go and harvest it. Which, as long as you have permission from the landowner, is totally legal. The state agriculture department says you're not allowed to mess with a saguaro until it's dead. Then it's fair game which is why you can find the dead skeletons for sale online for hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Trevor's cactus could be worth some serious cash. It's a really uh, labor-intensive process to clean these because, you know, they have all of the fibers and things inside. And that's the catch. It takes years, maybe a decade, for a cactus to get all skeletony. So turning this fallen soldier into a cash grab is a long-term investment, one Trevor's not going to make. I'm going to let it dry out for about a week. And then nobody wants to come get it. It's free. I'm going to chop it up, take it to the dump. In Litchfield Park, William Pitts, 12 News.